Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NVCN. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time frame thing that's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price, and then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday, and quite the turn of events. Uh, you know, yesterday was literally doing, you know, uh, the, the big question of, hey, you know, is this the, the breakout, the start of something bigger? You know, it finally broken up above 11 and a half cents. And I mean, it just closed very powerfully yesterday. And then today, not only did it gap down, but after the gap down, uh, the bears just continue to press downwards and, you know, kind of the rest was history right there. So with that being said, first thing I'm gonna do is just some house cleaning, get rid of all these lines up here. Sure, they still pertain to the chart. They're just not relevant at all right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion by having lines all over the place. So we'll just kind of focus on, uh, you know, the, the newest area of, uh, you know, kind of the price information, which is down here uh, right around below the eight cent mark. But the one thing that, you know, did stand out is that after the bears pretty much spent the entire morning just pressing the price down, the bulls did start to show some signs of strength and built this little, you know, uptrending trend line here. Now, don't get me wrong, just because the bulls built this little tread line, I'm not saying, therefore on Monday, this thing's gonna be up at 12 cents, but you gotta give credit where credit's due. And when you consider just how nasty and how strong the bears were earlier on in the day, where after the gap down and the push down, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see that the bulls were actually able to level things out and not only level things out, but start to show some signs of progress. So if you haven't kind of connected those dots, key level of support next week is going to be that orange line there preferably speaking if the price can stay up above that orange line that would be best case because that would you know illustrate and represent the price continuing to make progress in the upwards direction and not to insult your intelligence but yeah that's what a bullish move is going to do right it's going to make progress in the upwards direction in the event that orange line does not hold then the next level of support is essentially where the bleeding stopped today right around 0.052 give or take a little bit now in the event this is kind of the bulls warming up before another push upwards where are some of these levels of resistance at that the bulls would have to fight through on a bounce first key level to keep an eye on right here at six and a half cents and then if the price can push through six and a half uh, you know, it, it's almost kind of like a little miniature blue sky breakout as the next level of support, not until up here around slightly above eight cents. Now, I'm now six and a half breaks. I'm not saying within two seconds, it's going to be up slightly above eight cents. But the point here being is because of the, the, the big move down today, it has created some spaces between areas of resistance. So, you know, this could have a nice little pop and a, a bounce on Monday, but only time will tell. And the whole first step all starts with once again, staying above that orange line. So we'll see if the bulls can put something together or not next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.